the lock still on, that's good. Okay, yep, the lock's still on. And we're ready to roll. <laughs> well, I think this is real fun actually. It's like it's like being in a drawing group and all drawing together. Um, but you know, I wouldn't normally like that. But I, I like this because I it's kind of no, just it's just I just like it. Um, I suppose it's a bit like being in a group and then you just get on with it, but it's always a very tight time factor on things like that and you just, you think, oh, is it worth me getting all my stuff out? Is it worth me getting the pencils out? By the time I've got them out, then you have to start thinking about packing up and... Um, I don't know, it's just, this is, this is great, really good. Okay, we're going to go up, like I was saying, with this line here, that's at an angle there. So we'll just put it in, otherwise you can get a bit lost, and it's the other side of this. Yeah, it's coming up here, that's right. Okay, so that's going up there, and then we've got a little mark going up there on the outside of his nose, at least about here. And then, yeah, there's that mark there I put in. There's that little mark. See, it's it's really worth doing. Okay, so get get some dark bits in there. We're going to cover those all over. But there, when the white goes over the black, it really looks effective. So although this is, it could be grey. You could leave it grey. It'll have more impact if you've got some black in there as well. And it can be quite rough, it doesn't have to be neat by any means, so I could just leave it like that. And then we've got so we've got that, and then we've got that that grey, sort of greyish stuff going on there. And we've got a darker line there. So I'll just put that in. Yeah, that's it. Let's have a look. Now all my lines have gone off here, but I'm going to use the other bits as a guess, uh, you know, to guess where they are. I'm just going to use the other bits that we've still got there. So we've got the edge of that black line there. See here. So we know we've got a, 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 a like a lighter grey patch there. So we just we'll just do the dark patch there. And this could be the grey patch. We, we can put them in, I think. Let's do that. Let's do that. And we've got the dark patch there. It's so easy to get lost when you're doing stripy bits. There, the hairs are going down here. Yeah, they'll all be blue and merging back. There's some lines coming down here. Then We'll just go from here, so kind of we're at the edge here, so we've got our little patch there, it's kind of white there, kind of whitey blue there, and then we've got the little bits coming down there like that, and then, yeah, so that's, that's a little bit wrong actually. Uh, so we've got another little bit coming down here like that. Uh, you know, don't worry if it's a little bit wrong. Yep, we'll put it right. Put it right as we go. That's all you have to do. I'm kind of used to doing this. So I'm looking there, then we've got another stripe starting about here. So we'll put that in. And of course it's rounded, so it's kind of going in line like that, just like that, and then down. And then again, these 
knees cover down like that. That way. They're coming down like that. Beautiful. Just down like that. These are important, these bits that I put in here. That's that. And it's coming up quite a way, see, but it's because I looked at that. I looked at the whole thing there. Because that is one of his claw thingies. Don't know what the proper word is, but yeah, that's that's one of his claw thingies. And this is that bottom line there. Yeah. We've got another line coming up here, like that. That's it. And it's got a nice roundedness there. And then up. It's coming up here. Then this. I just did a bit of a, a mess of a line here first. Um, so even, even putting lines in like this, you can just do them, do them like this and you've already got the hairy look. Kind of ready to go really. And then coming straight right so we've got this come in that's that line here that we did and then this is coming in like that and then we've got our white hairs coming off of there There. And then we've got that kind of hairiness coming in. Beautiful little hairs coming off the edge there. Right. Alright, okay. This is coming straight there, like that. And it's just below this. This is our black bit. We've got our black in there. Yeah, that's it. to um, the yellow, yellowy idea down here. So I'll do that a bit lighter there, blend it out like that. And that's, that's a bit yellowy as well. And then we'll get this in here while we're at it. We'll just do it in white for now, but there's a lot of blue in there. If you're in doubt, just look at your black and white picture. Look at how you did the lines on there. Yeah, this is a nice bit here to good marker here. That's nice. It's quite. 
it's white, but it's more white on this bit here. See that very bit down there? It's, it's a bit faded there. So, so yeah, we've got a got a dark line in there, very dark line. Look, it's got the dark, it's got the very dark blue in there as well. And then we've got a dark, dark bit in there, and across here. And here, another dark line there. Straight. So, dark in there. And we've got little very dark bits in there. another dark spot just coming so you can see it's it kind of in line with that I want to put that in there just to be sure we get that in the right spot there just there and then there's this line coming down like that our black that bit in there. It's only a tiny little bit but it'll make a big difference. And there. It looks like nothing, but all I'm doing is copying the, copying the shapes, and as if by magic, that cat's paw will appear. <laughs> it is like magic. shape here, the black shape here, just doing that there, and just outline that where his paw ends. Then that shape is coming halfway up his paw there, just there, so we can put that in. We'll do that in yellow, I think, just for now. Okay, let's get some more stripes going here. Right, so we've got that furry bit there, it's coming out there. Just outline that with a, it's a, it's a darker, darker colour there. That'll just help us keep our place set. Just 
getting this all mapped out really nicely today, which is good. That's that. Yeah. That's right. That's that. And then we've got the dark bit here. Coming like that. Try not to get to the black on here because that's going to be blue, blue, white, and pink. You can see all the colours in there. Whatever your prints come out like, just look, really look at it hard. You can see all the colours in there. It's not just white. So try not to get the black in there for now. I mean, we, we may need black in there, but um, we don't want to put it in if it's if it's not necessary. We'll see how it goes. Don't know to start doing it. That's what I've always found. You just don't know what you're going to need until you actually really start doing it. You know, you can guess at it, but it may not be right. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's that bit. Then we've got another bit coming down here, which leaves a bit of grey on the edge. And it starts to turn into a kind of little shape and then across here like that. That's that's a little patch there. Okay. That's that bit there really. That's that bit there really. Just there. Then a little bit down, a bit across. And then we've got another patch. Coming about here. Just always measuring from the last bit really. And that's kind of you know you could you can guess this, this is just kind of that kind of distance really. Just kind of like that. And that's the line. And then it's coming down. You know, those hairs are coming down like that. You can see, see where they're going. And we've got We've got our line as a marker here. It's coming right up to the top where I put it. Then these little black marks will be about here. Just the other side of that. And then there's a stronger mark there. And a little bit there. And you can see this is kind of just going across here like that. Maybe down there. Then we've got like a little wave here. There's a little wave. There, coming right down to that line. So just put the little, just put the little wavy, wavy marks in there, and then we've got some lines coming down like that, all in between these white hairs here. So kind of coming like that. And you know you've got that light edge there. That is the cat's paw. But you've also got a little little black areas there coming down and the hairs come in through the white a little bit and yeah there see that's that darker patch there and then we've got that that's it that's the, the this is the other side of that darker patch and then there's another one There. And that's a little bit darker through there. It's good to get all this mapped out and then um, I quite like the mapping out bit bits though. And then you start putting all the different colours in and See, it's got to kind of come across here a bit and down. Much lighter 
strokes I'm doing now. Much, much lighter. Hardly touching it really now. There's a black mark here I'd like to put in. And it kind of goes across. This is a, it's a nice little wavy bit there. do I forgot to put the timer on again <laughs> couldn't wait to get back to this now I've just noticed this this black mark here it's got to be about here on the white throne so it's not really quite the right see it, it's it's got to be about here so that's that mark where that starts to get a bit darker there so it probably needs to come down a bit about a bit there yeah, I forgot to put that timer on again. Couldn't wait to get back to this. These marks come in this way a bit there. Going out like that. Okay. Right. So now these are grey, but we're going to put them in in white because we just need to mark them out really. So we know where we're going. Now we've put all the black key marks in that we want to keep. Just do the white in between those. And then it's a start. It's a start towards our cat's paw. I think when I've done this I'd just like to get the stump out on this and see what happens. See what happens to that. You can see now, you can see they're looking more like paws and this has got a lovely little drip of hair that we'll put in, not yet, but soon. And then we've got a darker marker there, see, we need to keep that very carefully there. Yeah, we need to keep that very carefully. Some white bit coming out here on the other paw. And they're quite long hairs actually on the on the paws. Watch where the hairs are going now. They're going in slightly here and straight down. They're always on the move, hairs. Was on the move and this is how you get a realistic look to make sure you get the hairs going in the right direction. So they're going out and we've got the hairs coming down and then we've got hairs coming out. Very long haired cat and then we've got a nice little white white patch there coming into the curl. Yeah, I won't go mad on that bit because um, might make a mistake there if I get a bit carried away. The hair's coming this way here. It's quite good to get them in the right direction. We'll do those hairs over the top after. 
and we've got a straight hair coming out across here. do for now. It's looking like an arm now. Looking good. Just get these hairs in here. I can see. And they're going up here because that's his elbow. Up, up, up. Good. Now to get these white hairs here we'll do those last because we've got to get all this in the background first right. Uh, I'm just going to kind of have a look over this. Just check over that I've gone in the right direction. Yeah, it's probably a bit up here, you see. That's it. Yeah, that's the that's the dark brown. That's the light yellow. It's quite a nice little bit there coming out there. That's the yellow bit. Then we've got another yellow clump there. And then this is yellow just here. It's right on the edge of that, really. And then it goes into the fur back here, like that. It's quite straight. It's kind of going into the fur here. So that's a little patch, grey patch there. too bright, far too bright, but it'll just really help us get our bearings there. And we can put much more white in there when we're ready. Hairs are going that way there. few little stripes here. That's it. And it's it's all coming up to the edge there. And then uh, this is coming across. And then coming in there. Then this is coming across here, yeah, that's it. It's coming across there, then it's going up here. The black 
stripes are quite thin, really. There's more white grey on there than anything, really. And we've got a couple of little pat patches there. in after that. Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to do this bit here just nicely. Okay, let's get the blending stock going, I think, see what, see what happens with that. Just clean it off first and paper towel. Okay, so here we go. Let's see what happens. It's gone grey. See? See what happens? Takes all the white away. But I suppose this is why you have to keep, keep going back and forth. But in this case, we need to get a bit more base under there and then we can put the white in again. But yeah, not, not a fan of blending stumps. They make it look nice and soft and Airy, but you see they, they take all the separate colours away, which is, you know, sometimes you just need that. See all those little thin lines that you put in there? Try and keep those if you can. I wouldn't dream of going there on this at the moment. It would just take all that effort we've put in there. Uh, take it all away. We, I tell you what, we can, we can just blend this bit on the edge here and make it a bit more furry looking. So things like that, it's quite nice. Let's make sure I've got clean things over that. But yeah, you can you can see what happens there. I think that's be enough of that. 